This is the announcement that Ionic 3.30 has been released and we have Angular 4.1x and above as well as TypeScript 2.3x in our applications. So this contains a few bug fixes and features so it's definitely worth upgrading to. So we can start off by ensuring that we have Angular 4.12 at the very least. Although there is actually a higher Ionic native version available, such as 3.10x, the official upgrade guide does not say to upgrade this higher than 3.61, so it's up to you. If you want to take this higher, then you can experiment with that, but officially they've said at least 3.61. As well as that, we can take our Ionic Angular to 3.30. You can ignore the Firebase dependencies here because this project has Firebase. The Service Worker Toolbox has been upgraded to 3.6.0. And ensure your Ionic App Script is 1.3.7 and TypeScript at least 2.3.3. Obviously with dependency versions things change very fast but for Ionic 3.3.0 this is the minimum level that has been recommended by Ionic. If you want to upgrade higher than this, you certainly can, just be aware that things may not work as intended. And the next thing to do is to remove the Node modules. So once we've done that, we can run npm install once again. This will install our dependencies back into the project based on that package.json. So any dependencies you have inside of that file will be installed into the Node modules. The final thing that we need to do at this point is remove the declarations.d.ts from our source directory so we can remove that. And if we head back over to the upgrade guide, this is because it was a legacy file introduced early on within the Ionic Angular build. This is no longer necessary and by removing this, we should be able to get more accurate error messages for import statements. So when you've done that and you've run npm install, that should be a full upgrade to Ionic 3.30. This includes Angular 4.12 and TypeScript 2.33. So if you've upgraded your project and you found this video useful, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with Ionic 3 videos. And of course, I do have the Learn Ionic 3 from Scratch course. A link to that can be found inside of the description, so check that out if you're interested in making applications with Ionic, Firebase, the GitHub API, and much more. Until next time, my name is Paul, and I'll see you very soon in that next video.